To those of you Shapes I.O. buffs, here's a little secret. Now you're probably wondering how you can make some colored signals out of these uh, indicators. Well, let's see. I turn on this one, it's white. I turn on this one, it's white. I turn on this one, it's white. And the problem with white is that it blends in with the background. You see, at first it looks as if by connecting a wire directly from a logic circuit or a switch to the indicator, you're only going to get white. And that the only way to get color is by using a constant signal which you set to that color. So, how do we resolve this problem? Well, take a look at this. Red, yellow, green. How is that possible? Well, if you use one of these transistors and put one of these constant signals on the bottom and then put the wire on the top, then whatever color of signal that you turn on is going to show up in that indicator as you can see right here take a look at what other signals you can control circle square star pinwheel Again, you use a transistor, and if you use a constant signal, or you use the signal from the hub, or from one of those sensors, then you can actually control whether or not that signal is being sent. by using a logic circuit or the other part of the sensor which is supposed to signal whether or not it's actually receiving the information. Do any of these shapes look familiar to you? Again, I program three constant signals in order to make those shapes appear. And I use these transistors. With that in mind, you can actually set up some indicators to make sure that the factory is working. For instance, this indicator shows the, what kind of shape this sensor is picking up. This indicator shows what the hub is requesting. This indicator lights up when the two match. This indicator lights up when the sensor picks up anything. And only when the, pick, the sensor picks something up does this show. Now, you would think that it would keep showing forever, but I used a transistor 
that I will only let it show when this signal shows one. You see that? These sensors show that I got it right. Now with a little help from logic circuits and a virtual factory, I'm able to separate out all the layers and make sure that each layer is being done right. Now this will throw away any wrong shapes so that they don't get all confused. With an indicator, you can also use it as a pilot light for whatever you're activating or deactivating. See that? Now what this activates are these filters which I'm using as gates so that when I'm ready to release the colors or the shapes into the factory, I just turn this on and the gates open. The reject parts I choose not to use so that when it tries to go in this direction it acts as a closed gate instead. You are now going to see the whole thing in action. So I'm going to turn on the inputs and it's going to take a while before you see the whole thing in action. There it goes. Now I'm storing them into these bins so that by the time I release them they'll meet the speed specified by the hub. When it's ready I'm going to push this button and release all this and after a while three sensors are going to pick up that these things are traveling to the hub and you'll see a red light followed by a yellow light followed by a green light and that way I know that the hub has finally received it. Now it's time to let it rip There's the red light. And the yellow light. And finally the green light. And it takes a while before the gold changes, as you can see here as well. See how they're different now? It means that it's time to do the next part. I can now shut this off. Now watch the traffic light. 
red. Yellow. Green. You probably already noticed how I was able to control my input with more than one button. And here's the thing. It's like if you have a hallway with a switch on both ends, both of which control the same light. And you can do the same thing with Shapes I.O. See that? And this is how you do it. Use XOR gates. And by using XOR gates, you can actually control the same circuit with any button. Just go to the nearest button and turn it on or off. And there you have it.